What's up everybody? About 45 days ago, I painted my PlayStation purple. You may have seen this video, maybe the follow-up video where I added, um, actually turned the lights on. Um, since that time, I've received messages from people saying, hey, your PlayStation's gonna melt. You've trapped all the heat in there. Um, and I've received one saying, you've just voided your warranty. Um, both uh, things, of course, which are false. Um, Plasti dip, I may have explained in the first video, if not, apologies is used mostly on cars and uh, primarily on engine bay uh, covers and wheels, things that are in much higher heats than this PlayStation will get to. Um, even though there are there are now news reports coming out of some of these things running pretty damn hot. But um, anyway, I'm going to peel this off because I wanted to show what this looks like when we peel it off. Um, I, as you can see, it's actually still in perfect condition. I'm gonna, I'll do a little uh, slideshow here on it. I also wanted to show how many hours I have logged so far on this PlayStation, just to show how well this has held up. And no, it is not melted. Uh, it has not even come close. Um, so let's let's run through it all. Let's peel this stuff off and see how easy this is. Okay, so this is my recently played games on PS5. You can see Cyberpunk uh, with all of its bugs. I've got 81 hours. Uh, Immortals 36, Demon Souls 73, so yeah, definitely working. There's no melting going on here. Um, works just fine, guys. Okay, so uh, if you watched my last video, you know I have some overspray inside of this, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna remove that too. Not a big deal. Um, so I'm, I brought WD-40 in case we need it. Additionally, um, if you have one of these, it's like a computer component opener, a little electronic opener. Um, this works really good. We're going to scrape it off with that. Or a uh, simple term, if you have one of these in your house, just a guitar pick, extra one. This will help with that as well. All right. I recommend uh, placing your PlayStation on something soft. That removing this Plasti Dip does take a bit of patience. Um, it's, it's not just one simple uh, peel off. And it's a very meticulous thing. Um, you'll see most of it kind of comes right off and peels up and whatever else. It's pretty easy, but um, just a head, fair warning. Now, let's start by removing the panels. I'm going to split screen this to kind of make it go a little bit quicker in parts. But here's the overspray I was referring to. You can see it's all over the place in the middle, which in the, in the beginning I didn't care about it. Um, I thought, uh, you know, I'll just leave it and as I change colors, whatever else. But as you can see, my PlayStation is also not melted for the 25th time. There's my scratches from the first video. Um, but here you go, so here's the overspray. I thought I'd just leave it, and as I continue to change the colors of this, we'd see new colors around it. Um, and when I go to scrape it, nothing's coming off of here. Now, you don't want to do that too hard because you don't want to actually scrape your case. But I'll show you how we get that off. Okay, so I'm gonna start with an edge. You can pick any edge, uh, any side you want to do, top, bottom, doesn't matter just start to kind of just run your nail along it you'll start to see it kind of flake off of the corner what we're gonna do is just basically open up a little section that we can begin peeling and start working our way around again with the patience part um, it kind of it's one of those things that kind of the slower you pull on it and, and try the better you do um, also meaning the faster you try to do it it kind of just messes it up and rips off and flakes little pieces, so it makes it a little harder to do. So what I'm doing now is I'm going across the entire edge that I started peeling up, because doing this is going to make it easier to roll, which we're going to start by kind of rolling it open, so like this. And as you do that, you can kind of push up the edge. And there's that white original base that we had. So just kind of drag your finger on the edge. Um, if it's on the opposite side of you, just pull towards yourself. Um, keep doing that as you go across the entire thing. You'll gradually start to see it roll up. And again, just go across the entire edge of whatever side you want to start on. You could also do the wide side first. It might actually be easier. But I'm going to begin on this side and then flip to the other side and just kind of make a meet in the middle. To speed it up a bit to show that after you go around the entire edge you can get to the point here where you can now start to pull and it kind of peels up like a skin like a sunburn 
Now don't lift up when you do this, pull back towards you because when you do that, it's gonna actually peel and not just immediately rip. Now you will rip it in parts. It's like impossible to peel this uh, all in one piece. Major kudos to anyone that can do that. It's like the people that can peel an orange in, in one peel. I don't know how the hell you do that. But anyway, keep doing this. There you go, there's a close up. You can see the preserved color underneath. There's no bleed from this. I think I had some comments asking about bleed. Um, nope, I had none. And now I'm gonna start on the other one as well just to you know, get this moving along. This process will take about 10 minutes per side, um, maybe a little bit longer, 10 to 15 minutes per side. So plan on taking um, one to two hours to do this entire thing for removal. And the one um, additional thing to note is if in your original spray, if you did more coats than I did, I did about four coats on the front, three on the back, if you did more, um, some people were recommending doing like six to seven. Um, seems really thick to me for a console, but if you did more, it's actually a lot easier to peel off with the more coats you do. So something to keep in mind for any uh, any dip projects you do in the future. But um, I think this worked really well. It looked really good, uh, but I'm gonna mix it up here. Now, if you wanna fast forward to the reverse section, when I start on the inside, the harder part, You'll find that at about 11 minutes, so by all means, skip ahead. Um, if not, I'm just gonna let you sit here and watch this. And I don't quite know what it is, but there is something relaxing about it, so I don't know.
you're at this part, the final little pieces, there's something immensely satisfying about peeling these off. Um, and there you have it, fronts are all clean. Minus, you know, a handful of little places here, like this one I'm peeling off right now. You'll find those. And you'll also see like in the CD drive, I still have to peel those out. We'll get it. But otherwise, completely preserved and very smooth. All right, on the reverse side, this side is definitely the hardest piece because you have a portion that's textured. So the part I'm on right now, there's that micro PlayStation controller logos, um, the little, the, the button combos. Um, and that makes it very difficult to peel up. There's also some hidden text and you know, you've got Sony written in there and then you've got another like deeper engraved uh, PlayStation button keys so that's harder to get up and so this part kind of just wears your finger out but you do have to just go around as much as you can get there's a much messier method you can use that I'm going to show in a minute to get it all up but it will take you uh, a bit to clean it so my best bet is to go around the entire thing as much as you can peel off with your hand just like this and then move into the, the, the next solution which of course is going to involve the Here's a close-up, you can see the, the controller buttons still visible there after peeling it up, but you can see how it's kind of a, a pain. Now again, this would be easier if I put more, more coats on it, but um, depends on how you want it to look. There's a big section down by the CD drive that I'm also going to peel up. I don't think I have it recorded though, but um, wherever you can peel up a big chunk of it, do it before we move into the next part. Okay, so uh, now we have all these edges kind of done. You can see there's purple still everywhere in here because we went sloppy with the overspray. We're going to take WD-40 and literally just spray it right onto this. Now why this works is that WD-40 is going to remove the adhesive and all that's really going to be left is a color or like a pigment from the spray. So when we put WD-40 on this, just let it sit there for about one minute and then watch what kind of magic happens here. So now I'm taking that opener that I talked about at the beginning of the video and you can just lightly scrape and boom the paint comes right up. Now including the overspray. Now don't panic at this part. This is a, uh, you might panic because you're gonna start seeing this purple bleeding everywhere and you're like, oh shit, I just messed up my, my case. No, you didn't, you're all right. Um, because if anything gets stained, you can WD-40 that as well. Just keep a entire package of paper towels next to you so you can wipe all this crap up. Um, so basically you're just gonna go around this entire thing as it's all wet, scrape up the big chunks, wipe them off, rinse and repeat. And I'm doing the more complicated side first, um, just to show how you get in kind of these cracks. Once you've scraped off most of the chunks, we're gonna move in with a towel and just kind of wipe it up and you'll see how it just kind of starts to come clean. Um, this will take a few, a few rounds. So when I mentioned earlier that you need the patience, this is the part where you need it for it. And you're gonna see little tiny cracks that still have purple in them. Most of them I leave, um, but I, you can get them all out if you really take the, the patience to do it. And I'm also gonna show how you can use a little tool to get to some of these areas that you can't normally get with like a towel. So like right here on the part that's the PlayStation cutout, um, I'm using a tiny little thing of tweezers to kind of get in there and peel out the rings um, and also kind of peel it up in like the little holes. This is just a, one method. You can literally spray this with WD-40 and do the same thing, just kind of rub a tiny towel over it or a tissue. So entirely up to you if you want the, the temporary panic of purple bleeding all over your case or whatever color you used, but it'll come up, so worry not. Now the next part is, after you've done that, 
you've got all these areas sprayed, you're gonna see like the tiny little cracks where they're still purple. Here's another trick you can do. So you can take a toothbrush, if you have an old toothbrush, just add another tiny little spray of WD-40 on each of those little areas that you wanna target. And then the toothbrush will get inside those little cracks and kind of pull up the remaining the remainder of that dip that may have uh, oversprayed in there. So the reason that I think this part's a little more important is that you don't want any leftover dip going into your PlayStation because eventually it's going to start blocking your skin or your uh, your case from connecting. So you don't want to have that happen. So however much you can get off of these things, do it. This is also why I didn't want to directly spray on top of these to begin with. If and when I do this again, which is probably going to be in a couple days, um, I will actually block all these off so we just avoid this entirely next time. Live and learn, right? Okay, now wipe off as much as you possibly can of the WD-40. We do not want to keep that uh, on your actual panel. So um, it's very oily, it's really slick and greasy. Um, I think it's probably flammable too, which is probably not a good thing to have next to an electronic. Um, so again, wipe up as much as you can. And now if you have anything in the edges, you'll notice that little textured section might have some bleed in it. Just literally spray it and then wipe it with a clean paper towel and it'll come off. Now I'm gonna wash this in water, just warm water, not hot, not cold. Just wash it a little bit because I'm trying to get all that WD-40 off now. Now I can wipe it off, got most of it, but just to be safe, we're washing each side. I've got a sponge here too. So as best, to the best of your ability, get that off of there. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a world first bath for a PlayStation 5. I think I've seen someone put a PlayStation in a tub, um, trying to be funny, but they're just being dicks. But this is the uh, delicate, romantic PlayStation bath that I've, I've now taken with my console. So, um, achievement unlocked, I guess. If you follow these steps, you should be good. It should, everything should be pretty much clean. Now I'm pointing at this little letter on the upper right hand box. You can see where like the corners of the square and the corner of that X still has a little bit of color on it. Uh, very difficult to get out, but you could get it if you use like a needle. And then you will see additional color left on some of the hooks, but it's all right, it shouldn't disrupt anything. All right, so uh, that's it. That's peeling it off. A little, little more complicated if I would've done a little bit more coats. Uh, probably would've been easier if I would've trimmed off the inside. Definitely would have been easier, but um, here we are left with this purple shedded skin. It looks completely fine, so if anything, it's preserved. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do, because in about a week, I'm gonna do something much cooler to this thing than the purple, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Um, a little more complex than simply just spraying it with dip, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you, and um, don't be afraid to spray or to dip your PlayStation because you can always remove it. Take care, everybody.